In this video, we're going to check and if needed, quickly adjust the E-Steps on a direct dry 3D printer. E-Steps is just a figure that ensures that the extruder stepper motor pushes through the right amount of filament while printing. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to set the E-Steps on a direct dry 3D printer using a small amount of light colored filament, a ruler, and a program called Prontoface. Prontoface is free to download and use, and there are download links in the description below. I'll be using a laptop running Windows 10, but there is a version of Prontoface for Mac, and I've linked to a installation guide in the description below if you need it. Before we even plug our 3D printer into any kind of computer, we need to check if our E-Steps even need adjusting. To do this, start by heating the nozzle on your 3D printer up to a temperature around 20 degrees higher than the print temperature of whatever filament you're going to use. I'm using white PLA Plus that I print at 210 degrees, so I'm setting the nozzle temperature to 230 degrees. This is to ensure that there's as little resistance as possible to the filament being pushed through the nozzle. Once your nozzle is up to temperature, load your filament as you normally would. Using a ruler or verniers, measure up 100 millimeters from the top of your hot end assembly where the filament goes in and put a small mark. Put another mark at 110 millimeters. Now using your printer's controls, tell your extruder to extrude 100 millimeters of filament. Different printers do this in different ways, but there may be an option within the same menu that you use to move your 3D printer's axes or within a filament change menu. Your extruder will now try to push 100 millimeters of filament through your nozzle. If your E-steps are perfect, it should stop exactly at your 100 millimeter mark. If it does, then congratulations, your E-steps are perfect and they don't need adjusting. However, if it's like mine, it's either under or over the mark, then measure from the mark to work out exactly how much filament has actually been pushed through. Mine over extruded slightly, so I need to measure back from the 110 millimeter mark to see how much it over extruded by. My 110 millimeter mark is now nine millimeters from the top, which means that my extruder pushed through 101 millimeters. I'd advise doing this three times and then take an average of all your figures to get the best accuracy. If you need to adjust your E-steps, first you need to find out what your current figure is. To do this, you need to connect your printer to your computer via a USB lead, and then fire up Prontoface. Once the application is open, hit connect at the top and you should get a message saying that your 3D printer is connected. If it failed, then try selecting a different COM port in the drop-down menu at the top. At the bottom on the right is a command box where you can type commands to be sent to your 3D printer. Move things around if you need some more room. In the box, type M503 and hit enter or click send. This command retrieves all of the printer's current settings. What we're looking for is the line under steps per unit. On this line, we're looking for the figure next to the letter E. Mine is 430. Make a note of yours. Now we have all the information we need to calculate our new E-steps. To find our correct E-step figure, then we need to use this formula. Substitute the M for the amount of filament your extruder actually pushed through and replace E-step with your current E-step figure. In my case, I need to divide 100 by 101 and then multiply the result of this by 430, which is the E-steps I currently have. My result is 425.7. This is what my E-steps should be. Now return to Prontoface and type the following in the command box, M92 space E, and then whatever your new E-steps figure should be from the calculation we just did. Hit enter and the new figure will be sent to your printer. However, this figure won't be saved to your printer until you type M500 and hit enter. Once you see the setting stored message, you can disconnect and close down Prontoface. Test your new E-steps figure by extruding another 100 millimeters of filament. It should now be perfect. It's probably a good idea to turn your printer off and on again before testing, just to make sure that the new setting is being used. Now you know your E-steps are perfect, you may want to calibrate flow. If you do, click here, or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.